Yo, what's good, Jammers? How y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of Jam TV. It's yours truly, Busy Bone. Y'all already know what it is. Today's episode is about the late, great, easy E, Eric Wright. My mentor, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and so many other in the music industry. Whether you hear about Dr. Dre, whether you hear about Ice Cube, whether you hear about many people, whether the Black Eyed Peas, or uh, even as far as Tupac, Easy e was involved. I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was a famous photo shoot with High Times and Bone Thugs and Harmony and Easy e right around the time when we started. It's a picture that's been circulating. Here's the picture. This particular day was crazy. It was a lot of shit that went down behind the scenes that nobody really has heard about. So I wanna make sure I bring it to the forefront. After the movie, Straight Outta Compton, it showed a certain side to Easy e But Easy had many different sides. And the movie, I think, did justice, but there's so much more to Eric Wright, so much more to Easy e So this one right here, this one for you, sir. The Godfather of Gangsta Rap. My mentor, Easy e Eric Wright. Y'all get ready, it's gonna be a good one. So first of all, let me set the scene for y'all. We in LA. It's the early 90s right now, right? All we was doing with Easy e was going to different neighborhoods and out drinking and out smoking everybody. Easy would introduce us to the toughest gangbanger, roughest Crips, Bloods, Mexican hoods, Spanish, all that. So that was our thing, getting fucked up. P.O.D. did, passed overdose. We were young, we wanted to have fun. And that was what you did when you were young, before your liver get messed up, before your lungs get messed up, before it just isn't cool to look high no more. <laughs> there was a time and there was a, a point in music and in hip hop to where you would always, you know, you would just be high. You know, you'd do one of these, you know. Tilt your eyes down and that was the cool way to take a picture like, oh, them niggas get high. <laughs> but now it's more like, them niggas is drug addicts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So things do change. Anyway, so Easy e takes us to his house. Before we get to his house, he's got a, a house full of niggas, right? So there was just one particular one in there by the name of Seaweed. Now Seaweed was a gangbanger. He was one of Easy es homeboys from way back in the day, right? I mean, way back in the day. He was waiting through the NWA era, the Jerry Heller era, and all of these different things. And now, here come Bone Thugs and Harmony. Five true thugs straight from the double clock. So, I think that Easy told Seaweed to test our gangster. So, we all sitting down on the couch, crazy, lazy, wish, flesh, myself. And Seaweed go in the back of the room. So he walk in the back of the room. He walk in and he start mean mugging us. And we all just looking like, we'll beat this nigga's ass. He's a big dude, there's five of us. <laughs> we like, we'll beat this nigga's ass. This is how we looking at this motherfucker. So he walk back out, walk back in, he keep mean mugging us, right? So eventually he come in, he pumped up, I guess he built himself up or whatnot. He like, look, you little niggas. You little niggas, y'all think y'all gonna do my nigga like the rest of them whole ass niggas did them? Like Ice Cube, like Dr. Dre. Once you were ruthless record, you were ruthless for life. So we all just sitting back, just listening to this shit. Time is passing, time is passing, time is passing. And he keep coming at us. He keep going back in the room, coming back at us. Going back in the room where easy at, coming back at us. So he like, what's up, you niggas? You niggas ain't real. You niggas ain't real thugs. So eventually, Flesh and Bone stood up. And when Flesh stood up, we all stood up. We was like, what's up? And he looking at us and seaweed wasn't backing down. Don't get it twisted. And then Easy came running in from the back. Hold on, niggas, hold on. I was just testing y'all niggas. I was just playing. I was just playing. Y'all calm the fuck down. Seaweed, chill the fuck out. And this was all right before we did the photo shoot with High Times. 
So that went down. You know, Seaweed, he was like, I was just testing y'all little niggas, making sure y'all little niggas strong. Y'all little niggas got some heart. Like, look at you niggas, y'all little niggas got some heart. He was like, I was serious though, but y'all niggas got some heart. So, you know, we got past that and Seaweed been my nigga to this motherfucking day. And our nigga, he always loved Bone. He got into porn and all kind of other shit, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. None of my business, that's DJ Yellow thing. But I remember that nigga had two guns tatted on his side. Like he always had pistols on him. Even when he didn't have a pistol, that nigga had a pistol. <laughs> nigga, fake gun on your ass, nigga. <laughs> fake guns, nigga, fake guns. Anyway, so Easy E goes in the back and he brings out bag after bag after bag of nothing but sticky fucking hydroponic fucking weed. You hear me? Purple, orange hair, red hair. White Widow, he had all of that shit back in the days. Like he had to be going to Humboldt County or somewhere to get that shit, right? So he bring it all and put it all on the table and he go back and he get a Grim Reaper bone. So he like, y'all niggas go ahead, y'all roll up, y'all pass the test, y'all roll up some weed, do what y'all want. Y'all get some drink, get some drink in the refrigerator, do what y'all want, do what y'all want, do what y'all want. So we like, hell yeah, we felt like we felt good because we felt like we passed the test from Easy e And we always been street dudes, so it's always been that element of that in our lives. And we have prepared our entire lives for this very damn moment. So anyway, so we get back there, we rolling up weed. Crazy is just blazing. He just sitting back blazing. And me and Cray, we was real, real close back then. You know, we always used to, you know, conversate with each other on the slide. Cray was real quiet back in those days. Like he really kept to himself, you know what I mean? And it was only a few people that he would ever talk to. He's opened up and he got the radio show and he doing a lot of things, but he was really to himself. And I'm just sitting back and I'm looking at Cray getting higher and higher and higher. <laughs> I'm, wa <laughs> I'm watching him just get high. So eventually, Craig gets so goddamn weeded, he passed out on the side of the couch. This is when the photographers started coming in from high times. So Wishbone, he hanging in there. Lazy and, and Flesh, they went with seaweed to go get some beers and kick it and, you know, just to ease the tension because niggas was still a little riled the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? We, we still, you know, still felt some kind of, there was still a little tension in the air. So I guess, you know, they wanted to be able to break bread, break bread with each other and whatnot. So they out there breaking bread. They went to the store, went to the corner store, go get some brews and some drink for all of us. So then high times people start walking in. Crazy Bone laid out. I try to wake Crazy Bone up. He was like, ah, don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that. This is, good. This is gonna be good for the picture. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And I didn't think about it. And I was like, okay, shit, you the boss, son. Shit, I'm listening to you, you feel me? So Wish sitting next to me, he getting high. We all getting high. So we start blazing the fuck up. And the photographers just started coming in. So after we finished blazing up, and after we finished taking all the pictures, Easy e said, Okay, y'all, I gotta take a couple of pictures by myself. Y'all go over here and go do y'all shit. So we went over there and we went to the side and we went to go do our motherfucking shit. Meanwhile, we all just watching Easy e in star mode. Taking pictures, they was just catering to him. It was, this was big to us because High Times was the only magazine that had something to do with cannabis, that had something to do with Bud. So this was like amazing to us. You know what I'm saying? And it was one of those days that was memorable for us. And it was something that I hold near and dear to my heart. So lo and behold, after Easy e died, passed away, I'm just sitting back and the picture resurfaced. And that shit brought me back. I was just like, I gotta let the jammers know this goddamn story, what happened this entire day, how dope this day was and how memorable this day was. Now peep this out. After we left Easy e we all went to a party in South Central. A street over from the people's houses that we used to stay at before we met Easy e Don and Ladina. They housed us while we were on the come up in Los Angeles. Whole nother story, I'll tell y'all about that later. So we at the party and we chilling. This the same day. So we at the party and we chilling, we enjoying ourselves. All of a sudden, 
niggas start walking up in there and they looking at us. Now, if I don't know if y'all know LA, but LA is gang fucking territory. Like gangland. We know when motherfuckers is looking at us and 10 niggas came in, then another 10 niggas came in, and we all just sitting there. So eventually, little lazy got on the phone like, yo, E. Like, uh, it's a lot of niggas here surrounding us right now. We gonna need some heat up in here. Like, we ain't got no guns, we ain't got no artillery. So Lay told me, Easy was like, I'm on my way. Where y'all at? And you know, Lay gave him the address and everything. So we sitting back and we watching these motherfuckers just look at us mean to the motherfucker. All of a sudden, you heard a beep, 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 beep. Easy E pulled up in his bins. And it was Easy E. So immediately, all the tension stopped and they were like, oh shit. It's easy motherfucking E. So we walk outside. That motherfucker take us outside, he popped the trunk. He's like, where them niggas at? It was a grenade launcher in the fucking truck. No, some commando shit. Some shit you put on the side of your motherfucking shoulder and shit. One of these bitches. <laughs> easy was like, y'all niggas get in the car. Quit going to these different neighborhoods. These niggas is crazy out here. So we all hopped in the motherfucking car. We was just looking at each other like, Easy e is one real down motherfucker. He became not only our mentor, but our goddamn hero. Cause we street dudes. And he came through with a grenade launcher, with a rocket launcher. Crazy, yo, <laughs> crazy, crazy. I could go on and on and on and on and on, but that was that day in particular. All right, if y'all like this episode, make sure y'all press the like button. And if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure so you can get notifications and different things like that. Hold on, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I forgot to, okay. And I appreciate you guys. One more thing. You can get all of our brand new face masks on jcazmusic.com. You can also stream carbon monoxide on all platforms. Please trust and believe that. Please continue to keep watching Jam TV, support Bone Thugs and Harmony, and God bless you guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.